If you're hungry for good old-fashioned rock and roll, Virgin Records' latest group, Green, Green River Ordinance, is right up your alley. Their song, Outside, made a special guest appearance on MTV's hit reality show, The Hills, and that, of course, made them a household name. Here to talk about their sophomore debut, Out of My Hands, is Texas's own Green River Ordinance. Welcome, How's guys. Going? Going? Thanks for having us. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about your, your style, your sound. What influences it? Um, I, you want to go ahead? Uh, yeah. Pop rock, 90s pop rock. We're big fans of, um, you know, Third Eye Blind, Matchbox 20s. So I think those bands influenced us when we were real young, and we just tried to uh, carry that tradition through. So it's kind of 90s pop rock with the new little edge to it to keep it current. Definitely. So. Okay, let's talk about the fact that your song Outside became a household song when it appeared on the hills. I'm sure that got you a lot of exposure. So did you know that it was actually going to appear on the hills? Did they ask your permission? Um, it was kind of one of those things that we knew about it kind of at the last minute. And so I think none of us had really watched the hills much before. And so we were all kind of sitting there like waiting for the song, watching the show. And then finally, like after all the mess that is the show, we finally heard our song. It was a huge deal. So. Uh, <laughs> It, no, it was other, pretty cool. The other thing that's been cool about that is is our song On Your Own, which is playing right now, is on So You Think You Can Dance every single week. So you're uh, getting a lot of exposure. Yeah, and we, we didn't know about that. That's That's been on every Thursday for the, the whole season. So it's, whenever a guy gets kicked <laughs> off, they play that song. So wow, and how, how cool. does that feel when you hear your songs on these popular TV shows? It's amazing. I think going from creating something and then hearing it on a TV show, like helping elevate the scene or something, especially dancing, you're like, that's so touching. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you just mentioned The Hills as kind of being a mess. Oh, great, great show. Yeah, great show. Okay, right, now all of a sudden you're a big fan of it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've heard rumors that sometimes artists don't always want their songs to appear on certain <laughs> shows, but shows just take it without permission. Did that happen in this instance? You sound like it was a pleasant surprise. Oh, you weren't it, it upset. It was a great surprise. And uh, even the So You Think You Can Dance appear, or song performance or whatever was uh, totally <laughs> a surprise to us also. We had no idea that was going to happen. And uh, yeah, so. You love any play, any totally. play. Because it just means that you're getting more exposure. It means that yeah. you're gaining more fans all over the place, correct? Yeah, we're, we're down to be played on any show. <laughs> like we, The first one we ever got was Jockeys, the show on Animal Planet about, you know, like, jockeys, horse jockeys, and like them it's racing and all the drama. <laughs> we We're down with any of it, yeah. I love that. Okay, so let's talk about fans and how people have re responded to your music. What do you hear? Like when, when fans say, gosh, I really connect with that song, what kind of feedback do you get? Um, you know, a, a lot of people just so complimentative of, uh, of our drummer Denton all the time and uh, <laughs> Shout out you know, to Denton. Yeah. he's awesome but I uh, know the fans are great we did a thing called rock boat where we actually got to be on a cruise ship with just some amazing people and fans and we love to just like interact with the crowd and hang out afterwards and like every show we always hang out at the merch booth and we'll sign stuff and like take pictures and down to just, earth fellas we just like to get to know the fans as much as we can so be honest you ever get any kind of stalkers fans <laughs> That's a yes, I can tell, because you're positive. <laughs> you get Facebook, Facebook gets a little weird sometimes. You get but, uh, people that dance that line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Well, what's the weirdest uh, thing a fan's ever done to get your attention? Gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I think personal messages sometimes are kind of a little much, you know. People thinking that they're connecting with you in more of a level <laughs> yeah. than just we, music. We love making friends. I mean, that's what we love going to play shows, and the people that come to our shows, connecting with them as friends. But sometimes it's an interesting line there. Okay. But, uh, you know, we're, we're very lucky to have some people that love our music and mm -hmm. support what we're doing. And so we're, we're just grateful that people actually like what we're playing. We're just <laughs> five friends trying to make music and having a good time. And the fact that people are into what we're doing is, is the coolest thing in the world. So. Okay, well, good guys right here. And we're going to have a second performance with Green River Ordinance coming up. For more information on the band, go to dailybuzznow.com. All right, thanks, Alex.